Welcome back to the channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Brampton Gardener and today we are going to be planting our hydrangeas. So I have this hydrangea here and that one over there and they are going to replace my dead boxwoods. So hopefully these come out fairly easy. We shall see. So I'm just going to move these and I'll probably move I might move this box out of the way just so it's not in the way too much um, so I can get in there I'm not too worried about trampling the hostas because the season's almost over and they'll bounce back so then I have this anemone and I think I'm gonna plant the anemone just kind of right below where that white pot is that way it will fill in next year and will kind of cover the poppies that are behind it that don't look so pretty when they're not blooming and it'll look nice next to the um, peony so I'm gonna plant that one right around there and then I have my um, butterfly bush which is at the top of the hill right now just sitting there and I think I'm actually gonna plant it closer to the fence kind of like right back and behind next to where the straw flower is so that might be a little tricky to get in there so we'll see how much we can get done it just kind of started raining so hopefully it holds off enough for me to do this so um, yeah uh, now I just kind of got to move stuff around and get set up and I'll see you back shortly Not root bound at all. Absolutely beautiful. Oops, I did not need that. This one's so pretty. Same beautiful roots. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick look. <laughs> these are gonna get a lot bigger if I decide to put these planters here next year, which I might not do. Um, I just slid it back into place. Let me move it over <laughs> again. Um, and that patio stone will be gone. So they look nice there. Hopefully they'll fill in. They say three to five feet wide and three to five feet tall, something like that. So I think they're gonna look really good there and hopefully they get enough sunlight and then the hydrangeas in front will be nice. I could plant in some maybe coleus, but we're gonna see how big that gets, okay? And over here, tucked in, right there, is my new Japanese anemone. And I think it's gonna like its spot there when it comes, starts back up in the spring, it's gonna be kind of covering and disguising the hideous um, California poppy leaves. The, the flowers are beautiful, but the leaves look like hideous weeds. So that will fill that in nicely. And I just stuck the pot over to the side. 
because the season's almost done. We were, what, 39 degrees yesterday morning? And then over here, I kind of cleared the area around it. So this is gonna be my butterfly bush. This thing's probably gonna get way too big and I'm gonna just keep pruning it back. But it's not really gonna impede anything except for possibly that hibiscus there. So depending on how big it gets, I might kind of prune it more into like a tree shape. We'll see. I don't know exactly um, what it's gonna do, what it's gonna look like and how big it's gonna get yet. So I don't know. And then the planter that was there, I just set it there for right now. I wanna make sure that that gets plenty of sunshine um, until it gets rooted in. But look at these Rebecca. Come on. They're so pretty. That orange one just showing off. I'm gonna worry about putting the other containers back too much because um, I'm hoping we still have another three, four weeks before our first frost, but we were 39, 38, 39 yesterday morning when I woke up, so um, yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye